Hey folks, welcome to part three of the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Exam Series. Without further ado, our first question is gonna be, what does the Viz and Tooltip feature in Tableau allow? Is it going to be the embedding visualizations within tooltips, embedding entire workbooks within tooltips, linking to external websites, or embedding dashboard previews within tooltips? Which of these is it going to be? For this, the first thing I'll do is head over to the Tableau documentation, uh, which you also have access to, of course. And this talks about creating views in tooltips. And that's what specifically is called Viz in Tooltip. And if you read a little bit a little bit more about this here, you can see that it allows you to embed visualizations within tooltips. Again, known as Viz in Tooltip. Now, if you don't know, if you've never used this feature, I'll give you a quick walkthrough. So in you know, some of the prior videos, we set up these two sheets. Uh, called Sales by Cat and then Sales by Subcat. And let's say I wanted the ability to maybe, you know, as I mouse over furniture or office supplies or technology, I want to be able to get a tooltip to show me the corresponding uh, sales within subcategories for the particular category that I'm hovering over, if that makes sense. So it's pretty straightforward. As long as you have a visualization and it could be a bar chart, it could be a table, Basically just has to be a worksheet. That's all it has to be. Um, and essentially you go on tooltip over here and then uh, let me drag this guy over here. And once you have that, right, if I mouse over, this is what I currently see. I see technology or I see category and I see the sales. I can go over here, I can make whatever changes. But what I can also do is I can click on insert over here and where it says sheet, you'll see this arrow because well now I'm able to bring in any of the sheets that I created into this uh, tooltip. So I'm gonna click sales by subcat. That's the actual worksheet that I want to bring in, right? So that's the name of the worksheet. This is gonna be the width and the height of the tooltip. You're free to adjust that to a certain limitation. And then if you want, you can pass certain filters. And by default, it's going to pass all the filters. So in this case, if I mouse over a category, that's then going to become a filter and it's going to filter that accordingly. So that's all it takes. And I hit OK. And now you'll notice when I mouse over furniture, it's now showing me that sales by subcategory sheet only for furniture. If I, if I mouse over the next category, it's going to change accordingly. And then that's the whole purpose of Viz in Tooltip. So again, going back to this question, what does this tooltip, Viz in Tooltip feature allow? The embedding of visualizations within tooltips, okay? It's not going to be the entire workbooks. The entire workbook is going to be a collection of all of these dashboards, stories, sheets, what have you. It's essentially your entire file, whether it's a TWB or TWBX. So it's not going to be the workbook that appears in the tooltip. It's not linking to external websites. That's not what it's for. And it's not embedding dashboard previews as well. Remember, the only thing you can bring in here are sheets, not dashboards. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna be uh, visualizations or worksheets. By the way, if you do enjoy videos like this, consider liking the video and subscribing for more content just like this. Next question, how can Tableau interact with web data in real time? Is it through web data connectors? Is it through uh, a live data feed? Is it through uh, using data extracts or through story points? Which of these is it going to be? So the first option, again, through web data connectors. I'm sure a lot of you might not be aware, but if you look at the Tableau documentation, once again, you'll find there is in fact a web data connector. And actually when you go into your data sources, it's one of the options listed there. Um, so this actually talks about it over here, how you can use web data connector to your uh, advantage in order to be able to interact with web pages. But um, as far as the other options here, um, live data feeds, that's not really gonna help you interact real time with web data. Um, same thing with data extracts, that's more for either storing your data uh, within the workbook itself as opposed to uh, a live data connection. Also, it's not going to be through story points. That doesn't help you interact with web data. The only viable solution here is going to be web data connectors. Next question, true or false, Tableau Desktop can be used as a step-by-step -step ETL tool, right? Extract, transform, load to combine shape and clean data. So can you use Tableau Desktop to help prepare that data for, um, for ingestion or for analysis? True or false? 
Well, if you know your Tableau ecosystem well enough, by now you should know that that's what Tableau Prep Builder is for, right? If you go into the documentation here, it says it front and center, combine, shape, and clean your data faster, right? That's essentially what Tableau Prep Builder is for if you don't already have somewhat of an existing uh, ETL tool to help uh, prep your data. So that's gonna be the solution over here. It's actually gonna be false because Tableau Desktop isn't used as an ETL tool. That would actually be Tableau Prep Builder, which is a separate, um, separate product, separate application, if you will. Next question. What features should be used to ensure that a workbook's data reflects the most current data available in a database? So is it going to be server sync, live connection, scheduled extracts, or data source filters? By now you should know it is going to be the live connection. When it comes to Tableau, right, there's no such thing as a server sync that you would have control over in a sense. If it, if it was, the proper term would be a live connection, right? These are the only two options you have. So you can either have a live connection, which in real time, it'll query the database and it'll get the latest, freshest data available at that time. And then it'll display that within Tableau. It will load that into Tableau, as opposed to an extract where the data is stored within the workbook itself or on the server at a scheduled you know, basis, if that's how you have it set up. And that's where the dashboard pulls from. And it's not you know, querying the database in real time. So in terms of, um, you know, reflecting the most current data available in the database, it's gonna be a live connection. Once again, it won't be a scheduled extract because that's not the most current data. That's just current to the point when the last extract actually refreshed. Um, and as far as data source filters, that's more so about talking about data filtering, not necessarily about how current the data is. So that's gonna be the solution here. Next question. Which types of data sources can Tableau connect to directly? Is it going to be SQL data? And by the way, you could select multiple correct options here. Is it going to be SQL databases, web data connectors, local files, Microsoft Access 97, or cloud data? I'm not gonna lie, this is somewhat of a trick question, you know, unless you really know kind of the nuances of Tableau, but you can expect a similar question on the exam. So SQL databases, this should be a very straightforward one. Of course, you can connect to um, a SQL database. If you go to data sources up here and then click on new data source, you're gonna see a plethora of different options, right? You're gonna see this on the left-hand side, you click on more, you see a number of different options. In terms of a SQL database, you know, whether it's Teradata or, uh, let me type that again, Teradata or SQL Server or what have you, it could be My MySQL, it could be a number of options. It could be Snowflake it does allow you the ability to connect to that. How about web data connectors? Again, this is something that we previously have not really talked about up until this video, but yes, you can connect uh, via a web data connector as well. How about local files? Absolutely, it could be like an Excel file, CSV, what have you, right over here where it says connect to a file. Um, let's see, next option, Microsoft Access 97. So that's, that's where it gets tricky because if you type in Microsoft Access, nothing comes up. It's being a legacy system. That's not something that Tableau does support. So that's actually not one of the correct solutions. How about cloud data? Of course, like I mentioned, any kind of cloud database like uh, Google uh, Cloud SQL, for example, that is an example of a cloud environment. Easily, you're able to connect to that. So the only option here that's not gonna be correct is gonna be Microsoft Access. 97. Quick pause. If you like these videos, but you're serious about acing the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Exam or Certification, I've got news for you. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in practicing with an even more realistic set of practice exam questions. There are at least five different practice exams, 45 questions each, with the proper distribution of exam topic areas. You'll know exactly which questions you got right or wrong and what the correct solutions were. Now, there are a limited number of spots available, so be sure to take advantage of the limited time offer because as you know practice makes perfect and that's a wrap thank you guys so much for watching hope you found the video helpful as always be sure to like the video if you found it helpful be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and of course as always i will see you on the next video thank you for watching yeah.